Hello, I'm Jenny Parker, and this video will show you how to add a Skype button to a web page. The first thing you need to do is find the code for the Skype button. So if you go to the Ask Learning Solutions web page and click on Staff Induction, scroll down until you see the link that says Add a Skype button to your ePortfolio. It will take you to the Get a Skype button page, and there's a number of different ones you can select. You just type in your Skype username and you select the button that you want to have on your page. I'm going to select this one here. And you scroll down. All you need to do then is copy and paste this code in the box at the bottom. So I'm going to right click and copy that. And you can see a preview of what the button is going to look like on your page. You then need to go to your web page. So I'm going to go to my Weebly demo site. I actually want to put that Skype button next to the information about me, so I'm going to drag a two-column item down. And it's not, I'm just on the basic elements at the top here. And I'm going to drag my information up into one side of that. And then what we want to do to be able to add that code to your website is add a custom HTML. So drag that down to where you want it on the page. And follow the instructions. Click to set the custom HTML. So then I'm just going to paste that code into my page and click out of the box. And there you go. If you're using Yola, slightly different but similar. So I've already got my information there in a, a two column, actually three columns by the look of how I've set it there. And what you want to do in YOLO is go to your widgets in the right hand side and under the basic you'll see HTML. So you can drag the HTML to where you want it on your page. And when that box opens, again you can just right click and paste and click save at the bottom. And you have your new little online icons showing. If you're using Google Sites, you go into the edit page and you need to click on the HTML button here at the top. And once you're in that HTML viewer, again you can right click and paste the code and then click on the update button. Okay, it says it didn't like that, so it may remove some of the things from it. We'll go OK. With Google Sites, because it takes out some of that code, you'll find that it doesn't update and show online offline. However, it's still worth adding it because people will be able to click on the icon and it will open Skype and search for your ID. So after you've added it into your Google page, make sure you click on the Save button in the top right hand corner and then you can see what it looks like live and you can see when I click on it I need to allow it to access my Skype and I will get a funny message because you can't add yourself to a conversation and you can't add yourself to your contacts but um, when you're adding someone else this will bring up a, a different box and you'll be able to um, connect with them. You can also use the, that same HTML process to add lots of other widgets and gadgets to your web page. For example and one of the things that may be of interest to people is adding a, the group blog role from the My Group Digo. So I'm just going to select group of which I'm just a member so I can show you what you'll see. Over here on the right hand side you can see group widgets. If you click on that, in this particular case the group badge, so for joining the Digo, there's the code there for that, or the group link role. So that's what it will look like on your page, and there's your code that you copy and paste. Or, for example, a tag roll, which is like a word cloud tag, and you can copy and paste that. So exactly the same process, you just copy it, go back into your web page, whether it be Weebly, Yola, or Google Sites, select your HTML element or widget, and paste the code in.